so obese that he would get seriously ill and had a high chance of heart failure. Number one had a death with Alzheimer's disease, so he always had to look out for her. Though he didn't mind, his dad was a nice guy, and before losing his mind, he was always kind to number one. His dad was the only adult number one left since his mother left him. He felt the doctors and nurses didn't care about his death and weren't trying hard enough to be safe to follow. One day when he took his death to the hospital, no one peed randomly. He was a mother and it was the scribble he had kept for. This led him to hate adults more as he felt he was being helpful with needles and various known cases. In the child's war, he acted like a little to help the other kids feel better just as he had with his fall. The KND was then formed to war against the adult as they felt imprisoned in the war. The old members were passed. The old members were a packet who had come and gone while the teenagers were seen as enemies as they had their own war with war against there was no support of this to back up the theory that I can find. And plus, this theory overlooks the fact that number one's dad was number zero, which originated in the TV movie. Operation Zero, a little address in Operation Interview, and also says that numbers, that number one's mom was number 999. The first girl well, in the mall day of K and D. Now, obviously, I don't believe the silly. I mean, I'm afraid of the kids next door. I mean, really, I don't believe the silly, and it really. Does the book stuff. Like, like, number nine was a kid's natural member who was number one's cousin on his mother's side. How would you account for that? Huh? But anyway, this theory is debunked and it doesn't make sense whatsoever. Same for one to remember if you want to be detailed up to the subscribe and ring the bell to be the first. 
Hey, shame my